Hey guys, so I have another mystery box from Goodwill. This one is from Oakland, California. So let's take a look and see what's inside. This is another big box. Um, to be honest, I don't even recall ordering a second big box. So let's see what we have in here. Okay, we have a bunch of individual bags. We have a lot of bracelets, but we have some other stuff too. All right, so this is just part of it. right there and then we have more still in the box all right so let's get started and see what we have okay so we have a pretty black and gold bracelet It's a bangle. I don't see any maker's mark. Let me get my measuring device. I thought I brought out everything and now I see I didn't. Let me go to the other room. Okay, I'm back. It was actually right here beside me and I, <laughs> I didn't see it. Okay, so this is about a size eight. And if anybody wants this bracelet, that'll be $3. Very pretty. Okay, we have a faux crocodile bracelet. No maker's mark. And I would say it's maybe a seven and a half. If anybody wants this bracelet, that'll be a dollar. Okay, we have, this is plastic or lucite acrylic, I'm not sure. I don't see a maker's mark. It looks to be in good condition. So this is about a seven and a half. If anybody wants this, that'll be $2. So if any of you want any of the items that you see here, uh, email me at opportunitythrift at gmail.com. Shipping is $5 for first class US shipping under a pound. Um, if it's more than a pound, then, then we'll see what other options we have. Um, and, uh, you know, give me a timestamp and a brief description of the item, and, uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so this is an eight. This is an eight. They're the same. They, they appear to be acrylic, plastic. So the both of these, one dollar. This looks like a manufacturing defect, so one dollar for the both. Okay, this is kind of cool. I, let's see, it says something on the inside. What does this say? Two's Company. Okay, so it looks to be like a bronzy. It needs to be cleaned up. I think that's all makeup in there. <laughs> um, and what do we have here? Octopus. Oh, wow, that's cool. Um, enamel. And let's see the size on this. So this is a little bit smaller, maybe a size, I don't know, six and a quarter or so. If anybody wants this cute little octopus, that'll be $2. There is a little bit of 
wear here on the on the edge but not very noticeable two dollars okay it's an interesting shape for a bracelet um, black plastic and it's about a seven and a half if anybody wants this that's a dollar I'm going to put these aside and make a lot out of them. I think we'll have more, more of these. Okay. So here we have another, oops, another gold tone bracelet. Pretty. It's a size seven and three quarters. So if anybody would like this bracelet, $2. Okay, these look to be the same. So we'll do these as a lot. I don't see a maker's mark. Um, they're a little similar to the one I had earlier. Kind of plastic cream color seven and three quarters so the both of these one dollar okay we have a red plastic it's not in the best shape this is going to go into craft for a dollar okay this one's pretty do we have any kind of maker's mark on this one I don't think so. Okay. And it's about a seven and a half. If anybody would like this bracelet, that's going to be $3. Okay, let's see if we have <clears throat> any more of these. I'm getting the sense that there's uh, mul multiples here. Okay. So these two are the same. We have little pearls and gold beads going all around. I do not see any kind of maker's mark. This is gonna be a seven and a half. So both of these, $2 um, or a dollar piece. Okay, we have a similar one, or is it identical to the one we just had? This one we just had a minute ago. I believe I said $3. This one looks to be the same. I think the size might be different though. Eight and a quarter. So $3 for this one also. Very pretty. I'd say that's kind of the nicest one we've had so far. This one's really pretty too. A little bit of a bend here. Okay, I think we got that back in place. All right, any maker's mark? No maker's mark. And this is gonna be a size eight. If anybody wants this one, $2. Guys, excuse me one minute. I want to turn my air conditioning on. Hold on. Okay, thanks for waiting. As the sun goes around my house at this time of day, it gets uh, immediately hotter. So I wanted to, I didn't have the air on earlier. I didn't really need it. But now I do. Okay, so this one's really pretty gold with little gold rhinestones so it's about an eight if anybody would like this bracelet that'll be two dollars okay let's see these are not the same oh but they're part of the if yeah, they're all together any maker's mark? None that I can see. So we have two brushed metal in silver and one <clears throat> shiny. 
in silver were at about a size eight. So if anybody would like this, uh, $2. Okay, <clears throat> we have a new stretchy. It was $7.80 before. Is this just dirty? I think that just is dirty. It just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Stretch is really good. It is a, well, maybe a six and a half or so without the stretch. So if anybody would like this, $2. And I do think this can be cleaned off. It doesn't look like a gouge, even though there are a couple of little scratches here. So $2. Okay, we have another bangle, silver tone with rhinestones, no maker's mark, size eight, if anybody would like this, $2. Okay, <clears throat> similar to the other one, except we have two silver tone and one kind of a rose, rose tone what size this is I would say I'd say seven and a half so if anybody would like this threesome two dollars okay we have another gold tone bangle pretty Reminds me of Pac-Man. <laughs> Not quite the same design, but somewhat similar. Okay, it's about an eight and a half. So if anybody would like this bracelet, two dollars. We have a bunch more of those gold, thin gold ones. Oh, we have another one of these. Okay, let's see what size this is. It's about an eight. Can't remember what I said for the other one. <laughs> um, one dollar. Oh, and we have another one of these. I don't know if they're identical or similar. Every time I see multiples of something, I kind of wonder whether they're not really brand new and just came out of a store. This one definitely looks like it has no wear on it. It is a size eight. So if anybody would like this, that will be $2. I can't find that other one though. Okay, here we have, oh, how cute. We have dolphins. These are pretty. Lobster class, dolphins. Let's just make sure. Huh, they're not magnetic. But I don't see any kind of mark. seven and a quarter so if anyone would like these cute dolphins that'll be three dollars just make sure there's no mark anywhere inside yeah I don't see a mark okay three dollars for the dolphins this is pretty very rich looking No maker's mark. It's an eight. So $3 for this one. If anyone would like this bracelet, $3. Okay, I think we have more of these. Let's see what size this one is. And the 
this one is a size eight. So just like the others, $3 for this one. Okay, we have another one of these. So this one is a seven and three quarters, $1 for this one more of these. I have a ton of those. At this rate, they would make good crafting pieces. Okay, this one, rhinestones, gold tone, size 8. The rhinestones are gold, no maker's mark, $2. Okay, I'm gonna, that's an earring. I'm just gonna put that aside. All right, what do we have here? Oh, it's really worn. So crafting, $1. All right, we have another silver tone with rhinestones. No maker's mark. $2. All of these bracelets are in really, really great shape. Um, not seeing any any real flaws or wear. Okay, these are not sure. One of these had where did I see that? Yeah, see, I don't like the fact it's missing. So this one's just going into my little craft bucket. Let's put this somewhere. I don't have an actual bucket. <laughs> it's more like a spot on the table. Okay, so, and this one, let's see if this one's in better shape. It is, it is. Um, this one is a size eight. So $1 for this one. Out of, oh, look, we have more of these. Yeah, I'm wondering whether a closed did not, a store did not close out. This looks to be about an eight. So these are two silver tone and one kind of rosy tone. Those, there's some wear on this one, on the rose. So, not much, but a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna put that into craft for a dollar. The other one was in better, better shape. All right, let's pull out this whole bag. It's one bag, there's three bags here. Okay, what is this? This is cool. We have turtles. No maker's mark. It does show wear, but I still think the turtles are awfully cute. Despite the wear. It's it's looks like it's made of wood, but it's not. It's some kind of um, plastic. And I would say this is maybe a size eight. So if anybody wants this, it's a dollar because of the wear, but oh my God, it's cute. So we have another one. This one is made of wood. It's pretty dirty. I'm gonna put this in craft for a dollar. Okay, what do we have here? A little bit of wear. is a size there's some hair <laughs> okay size seven and a half I'm, a, I'm gonna put this one in craft for a dollar because 
Cholet. There is um, wear on the chain. Okay, what else? do we have okay so here we have it's a toggle clasp oh, I missed it heart So I know the chain is not anything. I don't think the heart is. It is a size six and a half or so. There is a little bit of a little bit of scratchiness on the heart, maybe a little bit of wear. Um, but overall, it's nice. Made in Korea. Uh, One dollar. Okay, we have another bangle. A little bit of wear on this one. It's a size seven and a half. I'll put it into craft for a dollar don't see any maker's mark or anything. Okay, this one looks nice. With wear. Too bad. Too bad, because the chain is really nice. Any maker's mark? How does that work? Oh, here we go. This is magnetic. Yeah, too bad there's so much wear on that one. It's a seven and a half, I would say. So one dollar because of the wear. Okay, let's see what else we have here. This is in great condition. Any, any mark? What does this say? Rice. Okay. Rice it is. I haven't heard of rice, so I don't know. But this one feels nice. It's in really good good shape. I would say it's a six and a half. So if anybody would like this, um, three dollars. This one's really nice. Right, we have some plastic bangles, navy and white, oh, and more plastic bangles, navy and white. I'm um, going to put all of these in craft for a dollar. Okay, we have this one. These are in great, great shape. This is Okay, so this is a magnetic class. I don't see any maker's mark. It's in good condition. I'd say about a six and a quarter, six and a half. So two dollars if anybody wants this bracelet. I do combine shipping, guys. So if you see more than one item that you like, if it stays under a pound, it'll be the same $5 for shipping. And just email me at opportunitythrift.com. And uh, if you want to buy anything and give me a timestamp and a description of the item, and then we'll go from there. My goodness. Okay. This one's tiny. I wonder if this isn't for kid. Oh no, I guess not. So it's a six. Really good condition. I don't see any flaws. 
So $2 for that one. Okay, then we have a bunch of thin, thin bangles. Okay, let's see, any more like this or not? I'm gonna put these in this pile with these other thin bangles. We'll kind of make a lot of them at the end. I'm trying to pull out some of the more interesting stuff. Okay, so this one has all its rhinestones. It's a J. Crew. do that. Okay, let's try that again. All right, J. Crew, a little bit of wear to the clasp and the metal, a little bit of wear, but I think it's still wearable. It's a six and a half. So two dollars for this J. Crew, just because it does show some signs of wear, but I think it's still it's still nice. It's still wearable. Okay, this is cute. Got little little moons, little purple moons. Each one is slightly different. It looks to be in new condition. Six and a quarter. Two dollars for this one. Okay, we have one that is tangled, but really nice. So, oh, but you know what? It's missing rhinestones. That's too bad. That'll go into craft for a dollar. I'll just keep that, keep that tangled like that. This will also be craft for a dollar. Nothing special. The beads are plastic. Okay. This one shows quite a bit of wear. It'll go into craft for a dollar. This one also craft. Craft. Okay, let's, let's look at this. Oh, that's an earring. Maybe we'll find a match. We have another spare earring, even though it's mostly Mostly bangle bracelets here. Okay, we have two pink, pinkish red, more like a wine color, bangles. I would say a seven and a half, both for a dollar. Um, I'm gonna put this in craft for a dollar. It was a stretchy. Okay, this coming right up here. Let me get the tangle out. This one's nice. Okay, let's see. I wish they had kept it. It looked like it was all just bracelets in the bag, but there's a few other little things here. Okay. So this looks like it's a copper. And it's a little, a little bent here and there. But let's see. Really pretty, nice, different. I bet it was an artisan piece. I would say it's, about an eight. So if anybody would like this,
copper bracelet, uh, $3. That's kind of neat and different. All right, let's look at this. That was kind of tangled in with that copper bracelet. Okay, so this little heart is kind of got that Aurora Borealis look to it. Cute. Oh, it untangled. But let's get an idea here anyway. No, that wasn't going to work. <laughs> I do have my trusty tape measure here. Oh, hold on. I just noticed. No wonder it didn't work. This is kind of faulty. Let's see? Okay, so craft for a dollar. I thought it clasped it, and then I thought, oh, it must be my thumb that doesn't really work all that great after it had surgery. I thought maybe I didn't clasp it when I thought I did, but it wasn't my thumb. Okay, so we have two of the same bracelets, size eight. One dollar for the both of them, silver tone. Nice, they're, they're in pretty decent shape. It's one more gold tone and one more silver tone. Let's see, the light helps. No, I think they're both silver tone. All right, maybe I'll leave the light on now. The light is changing in the room. Okay, so we have two Gold tone, seven and three quarters. So two dollars for these two. We have another gold tone. I think we had something similar earlier. This one's an eight. So $2 for this bangle bracelet. Another plastic one I'm putting in craft. Okay, this one is um, stretchy. The stretch is okay. It's not the best. Probably could use a restringing, but they're pretty beads. So if anybody wants this stretchy for $1, Okay, this one, plastic, I'm just putting it in craft for a dollar. A Malawi bracelet. This one's kind of cool. Looks new. Very adjustable. One dollar. All right, let's see what we have here. It's missing a class where it's broken or something's going on here. Craft for a dollar. Okay, we have another, ah, not stretchy. I thought that would be stretchy. So what do we have here? We have a heart, we have hope, peace, serenity, it's showing somewhere, so craft for a dollar. Okay, let's see. Does this have anything on the tab? It's gold plated. I can't tell if it's 14 or 18 karat. Gold plated. It 
it's a six and a half roughly. So if anyone would like this, I would say it's in good shape. Maybe a few superficial scratches. Let me get my loop and see whether that's... That's 18 karat gold plated. So if anybody would like this, $3. Okay, let me look at that second bag. Okay, we have a stretchy. Good stretch, faux pearls, one dollar. We have a hammered looking bracelet, but it's showing quite a bit of wear. Um, this is, I would say, maybe a seven and three quarters, so one dollar for that. Another stretchy, stretch is fair. Um, not the best, not the worst, kind of in the middle, probably should be restrung. So $1. Okay, this one. Let me see if there's a maker's mark. <clears throat> no maker's mark. It's in good shape. I'd say a seven and three quarters. Nice Bengal bracelet, two dollars. Okay, this one feels like glass. Stretchy, really good stretch. Without the stretch, it's a seven and a half. It's got good weight to it. Two dollars. Okay, this one also has good weight to it, good stretch. I'd say six and a quarter. Two dollars. The last two, their stretch feels brand new. Okay, this is one of those memory bracelets, one dollar. Not dirty uh, craft for a dollar. Forget me not. have a maker's mark. Oh, it is a penny, a miniature penny. How cute. It's kind of on the small side. A six. One dollar. A little bit scratchy on the forget-me-not. One dollar. Okay, this one. Gold tone, there is some wear, unfortunately. It's got good weight. It's a size seven and a quarter, one dollar. Some wear to that. Uh, craft, craft for a dollar. We have a stretchy, uh, fair, fair stretch. I would restring it, it's getting loose. But it's got pretty lavender faux pearls. The pearls are just a little bit scratched up. Not too horrible. Only if you look close, I don't think anybody else would notice. Six and a half without the stretch, $1. We have another turquoise, really good stretch, uh, $1. Full turquoise, I should say. Okay, this is nice. This one is probably the nicest one in this second bag. 
that we've seen so far. It's got a fold over clasp. Nice chain. Really no wear. It looks like it might have lost a safety clasp. It is marked. What's that marked? Gold Debt. Gold Debt, New York. I don't know. Never heard of that. So, six and a half. The name like Gold Debt. <laughs> I had to check. Um, Two dollars. Okay, we have another one like this. We've quite a few similar size eight, two dollars. Um, this one's really worn, but it's got pretty little snowflakes, so craft for a dollar. This one is leather. It's a really nice soft leather too. Looks like it's monogrammed, JGP. Okay. I would say it's a size six. All the rhinestones are there, one dollar. Okay, we have Really pretty enamel in this one. It's a clamp bracelet. I don't see a maker's mark. Six and three quarters. Three dollars on this one. That one's really nice. We have another Malawi, a uh, dollar. We have it's hard to tell if these are rhinestones or if this is just all metal. I want to say it's all metal. Okay. It's got a little safety hook. It has something on the inside. Let me check what that is. Well, it's kind of odd to make that out. It looks like an R80. And then let me see, there's a second mark. The second mark. Hmm. Second mark says 925, so I don't know. It doesn't quite feel like sterling. But let's check it. Maybe it doesn't feel like sterling because it's got, um, you know, all, all this to the texture. So let's see see if they're right, if this is sterling. Well, it's not disappearing. But it's also not giving me that blue that I usually see. Well, it is kind of disappearing. All right, let's try so far, I would say it's, I would say it's not sterling. It's kind of not scratching up like it's sterling either. <laughs> okay, let's see here. No, that's not sterling. They lied. <laughs> they lied. It's not sterling. You gotta test. 
if you don't test you can just take their word for it you can get you can get fooled all right but it still is pretty and it's in like new condition and it's about seven inches so if anybody would like this it's two dollars okay the rest of these oh here's a pretty one with tags it says compare at $28 so it's got that Brighton look to it it's in really great condition oh was it TJ Maxx it looks new, like new condition, size 7, so I would say $4 for this one, if anybody wants this one. Not so good stretch, $1 for craft. Pulling out some of the nicer ones of what's left here. Because the rest I am just going to put into craft. Okay. So we've seen a similar one to this earlier. Okay, it's an eight. Two dollars. This one is a eight, one dollar bangle. It's gold tone. I'm gonna put this one in this pile here. Okay, let's see, is there anything else here? There's this one, which is nice. I don't know quite how to describe this. Maybe abalone. It's a seven and three quarter, so two dollars for the abalone one. This one has cute, um, okay, what's going on here? It's a knot. It's knotted, but the knots aren't really delicately done. see how it looks when you put it together. No, I don't like how that looks. I'm going to put that in craft for a dollar. And the rest of this, let's see what this is. Any mark here? Yeah. What does this say? Okay, this says 925, so... Let's see. Let's see if these guys are right. These guys may be right. Scratching up the way it should. Yep, this one is sterling. So it is a six and a quarter. It's in great condition. We have little, little hearts. So if anybody wants this little heart uh, bracelet, that'll be $4. Let's see if there's anything else here that won't go into craft. This is really pretty. Very nice. It's kind of got this mm, antique gold look, I would say. And it's a size six and three quarters. So if anyone would like this bracelet, that is going to be three dollars. Okay, I like this one. And this one's in great shape. I don't see any wear. And it's marked. Let's see what it's marked. Okay, guys, this one's a Kate Spade. This one is a Kate Spade, New York. 
it's in like new condition. It is a size six. So if anybody would like this Kate Spade bracelet, that'll be $10. $10 on the Kate Spade. Craft. Let's see what this one is. So we've done so we've done good so far. We found Sterling, we found the Kate Spade. Little butterflies. this through here there we go this one I think is slick for a child yeah it's pretty tiny it's uh, five and a half I would say cute little cute little enamel butterflies so one dollar for that And is there anything else here? I'm not sure what this is. It's awfully tiny. Five and a half. Purple. I suppose a little girl would like this. One dollar. I think we found the match to the earring. Let's see if all the rhinestones are there. Oh, we're missing. We're missing one rhinestone. Two, two. Okay, craft for a dollar. Let's see if this is marked it's really tarnished and made me wonder if it wasn't sterling nope not sterling Let's see what this is pretty roses are we missing a rhinestone there yep we're missing a rhinestone we're missing a rose we're missing a lot of stuff so, too bad. Craft for a dollar. I've got more of these. I don't think that's anything that'll go in that pile. We've got some natural stones here. I think this is a homemade piece. But if anybody wants the natural stones, seven and three quarters, that'll be a dollar. And I think the rest of this pile here is just gonna go into craft. All right, guys, let's stop here. We're at 45 minutes. Uh, we're going to stop here and then um, we'll pick up with the rest of the box in the next video. So thanks for joining me. My name is Lillian. This is Opportunity Thrift. And if you want to purchase something, just email me at opportunitythrift at gmail.com and give me a timestamp and a brief description. And uh, shipping is $5. I do combine shipping and thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thank you.